Hello everybody. Well I've got one more bench project to do. I think this will be my last one. Uh, this is a cast iron and wood bench that our neighbors chipped in and bought my wife and I when we got married. Came home and it was on the porch. That was pretty nice. But over the years it had been deteriorated. So this one will be painted black. I don't really care for the green. I'm going to make all new wood to go around it. It'll be a red mahogany. And then of course I need to paint the legs. Uh, this is one that I recently finished just to give you an idea on the color I'm going for. This is actually a pretty neat bench. That's six, a six foot seating area right there. Alright, well these have been painted black. Turned out quite nice. Don't know how well it shows up. I'm going to freshen up the hardware with a little black paint and start working on the wood. Well here's my layout. This is two 1x6x8 cedar boards. First thing I'm going to do is cut them down into four foot sections. I'll get two slats out of one, two slats out of another, another slat, a back piece, and then this arch section right here. I am going to be able to get it all out of one piece. You can see how I'm going to do this. I'm going to take this section out I'll cut this piece. This piece will come up here to make the top of the arch. It'll be a glue on. And then the the risers for the slats will come out of these little sections here. So when I lay this out, I'll just scribe around this, leaving it a little proud, and I'll jigsaw my scrap out and then repurpose those scrap pieces. So by doing it this way, I'm maximizing my potential and minimizing my waste. Alright, well I've got all my pieces cut to four foot lengths. Three of them I'm going to send through the saw and cut them in half to two and three quarters. And then I'll face join and edge join and then I can send it through my planer and then finish it off with the table saw. Okay, well these six pieces have been face joined and joined along one edge. So I need to send them through the planer to get them to thickness as well as clean up the rough marks on the back. Uh, this one that is still full width, uh, this is too wide to send through my jointer, so I would have to rip this down, send them through, glue it back together, and then send it through the planer, which I decided not to do. The face on this is flat enough. I just joined it on one edge. So I'll send this through the planer as it sits and clean up the back, and then I can start taking out the arch. All right, well, I'm going to explain the order in which I need to do things here. Uh, if I just cut these off and cut this out, this is really only hanging over here three quarters of an inch, and I have a very small piece I would have to glue on, and I didn't like that. This originally was made in three pieces, but I'm going to make it in two. So I only have one glue joint. So if I go ahead and cut everything out, I won't be able to saw this line right here because I won't have any backer. So what I'll do, since I need these scraps, is I'll cut these off first, lay them aside, then I'll send it to my table saw and cut this line across here to give me more on the top, and that'll be at four and a quarter inches. And that should give me about an inch and a half of material on the top. Yeah, an inch and a half. All right, well I've hacked out those two pieces, taking this one out. This will be glued right here. I'll put in three biscuits and glue and clamp this and then when it sets I'll finish cutting the top of my arch. Okay well here's a quick shot of my glue up. I just need to wait for this to dry. Then I can cut the rest of it out and finish it up. Alright well while I'm waiting for my glue to dry I'm going to go ahead and cut these two scraps to their final dimensions. They're going to be two and three sixteenths wide by ten and nine sixteenths long. It's certainly starting to look like something. Got it loosely mocked up here. On the original bench, there's nothing holding these pieces together other than screws that run around its perimeter that go in from the back. So I've decided I'm going to put biscuits in here and glue and clamp these on both ends and that'll help hold everything together. All right, well this is all glued up with biscuits now. Everything's looking good. I'm at the stage now where I'm gonna round over my pieces. 
the very top edge on the front up there is going to get a half inch as well as the first slat on the seating area will get a half inch the rest of the slats including the back of this one will get three eighths and everything else around that one that I had not rounded over will get an eighth inch well here's a quick shot of everything rounded over ready to go I need to mock it up and pierce my holes then I'll take it apart sand it and then I can finish it okay well here's a quick shot of it mocked up got all my holes drilled it's all bolted together now I need to take it apart sand it finish it and then put it back together it's looking pretty good all right here's a quick shot of it stained I think it's looking pretty nice personally I really like the color it's gonna look good playing off that black okay I'm beginning to put on my finish now I just kinda wanted to describe what I'm doing here I'm using a teak oil but I'm not following the manufacturers instructions uh, the way I'm putting this on is I've got a piece of an old t-shirt here that has been washed who knows how many times so it really is lint free and I've saturated that in mineral spirits rang it out and then started applying the teak and I'm applying a super thin wiped layer on here uh, I just finished doing this and these up top are already starting to look a little bit dry so I'll wait about 15 to 30 minutes and then I'll just keep applying coats of this in very very thin built up layers just like I have done and eventually I should end up with a nice uniform sheen on this uh, so far it is looking really good hopefully you can see quick shot up here you can see these are starting to dry out so rather than flood the surface and wait you know 30 minutes and then wipe off all the excess that all gets tacky anyway many 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 thin layers is the way I'm approaching this and I'll probably put six seven maybe eight layers on it but I just kinda wanted to give a little bit of information on how I am doing this and it should turn out quite well well here it is I believe that was five or six coats of oil I didn't really count turned out quite nice I think nice sheen to it alright well it's finished this is where it's going to live I think it turned out quite well and it certainly looks better than it did it's just a little information and more inspiration on freshening up your outdoor seating areas it's not very expensive to do it's super easy so I'll maintain this one this time so it should stay looking good for years to come thanks for watching and good luck